EU employment and social affairs ministers have reached an informal agreement on new rules to improve the European Employment Services Network, known as EURES, at their council in Brussels. The aim is to make the labour mobility network more efficient, getting more job postings and CVs online, and to improve cooperation on it among the member states to better match job supply and demand. We need a stronger European network of employment services to make the most out of the potential of labour mobility. In order to achieve higher growth and more jobs, we need a true European placement and recruitment tool supporting a better functioning of the European labour market. Youth employment was also high on the agenda, given the high percentage of young people out of work across Europe. Among the topics on the table were effectiveness of the Youth Guarantee Scheme, which is aimed at ensuring that all people under 25 receive a quality offer of employment, further education or a traineeship within four months of leaving school. Work on an agreement to increase the number of women on company boards will be handed on to the incoming Latvian presidency, which takes over from Italy on the 1st of January. The aim is to increase the proportion of women among non-executive board members to 40% by 2020.